Namaskar, welcome to module B3 of Building Back Business from Crisis. Uh, have you prepared a plan and cleaned up the workplace? Then it's time to get your business rolling again, particularly for those business areas where you were already doing well in the past. If you are, if we are restarting, it means that we are going mission mode to problem solve through interrelated shortfalls in the workforce, operations, supply and sales. Let's start with the workforce. We have to rebuild productive teams for key business processes and operations. There are some challenges which we can foresee. Is the workforce is concerned about their health and future employment. Uh, how do we observe social distances? Uh, the job rotation is no longer possible, so people will have to work in the same place. There could be gaps in experience and, uh, and skills resulting from part change over the workforce. What can you do? You can Certainly, you should communicate your business plan and expectations to all. Uh, assign and experienced staff to lead on core positions and core functions and a team of new workers with experienced workers in a kind of a body system. And update and practice standard operating procedures and provide also quick back feedback to, through frequent team meetings and seek and reward also suggestions. Keep in mind that the motivated and productive teams are based on trust and mutual respect and enabled by effective two-way communication. Of course, there is a uh, caution here because we have to communicate and collaborate at a safe distance. So no sitting or standing close together, but work at five, six feet distance from each other. We go to production. We have to adapt and optimize the production processes for the new reality and requirements. Uh, we, we promote, suggest to work on the, the issue of practice 5, 5 S, so optimize workflows and workstations for new distancing requirement and possible changes. So 5 S is the Japanese approach of sorting out systematic arrangement, shining, standardization and self-discipline. Particularly look at the systematic arrangement and standardization again. Of course, this is also an opportunity to look at resource efficiency. Can we eliminate the inefficient use of materials, energy and water? So by switching off things that are not in use, lights, motors, fans, conveyor belts, etc. Can we look at zeroing out all leaks of water, steam, compressed air? Can we recover some of the scrap materials for reuse? And if something is to be substituted, lights or so, do substitute with something which is efficient. Then we have to work also with suppliers to de-bottleneck your supply chain. So it challenges that might arise is that uh, suppliers are not operating because they're, still, they're closed down or they are still in lockdown or they have a shortage of personnel, materials or finance or otherwise uh, the current suppliers may impose price hikes or change their delivery and payment terms or suppliers are unable to reach, particularly in international or interstate or they have insufficient worker capital to pay for uh, supplies. What you can do is to reach out to support suppliers to get them back into business. Know where your suppliers are and how you can help them to come back into business. Identify and work with alternative suppliers for what you need. Look locally, so there's no, not a logistics issue. Or look at existing suppliers which have similar cap capabilities to help you with a new part that you might need. Also look at uh, your neighbors. So maybe your neighbors need something similar and you can uh, aggregate your demands and uh, uh, get a better price or better co opportunity. You might also initiate discussions on prices and payment conditions with your suppliers. Uh, remember that you should strategize down, I would say, the end of letter of essential need and design and avoid, afford, avoidable. So try to work on what is really essential and reduce that time and then to work on what's needed and um, prioritize what you're, so what you're working on with your suppliers. Uh, you all, likewise, one also has to work with the customers to, to help the generation of demand. So challenges are that uh, customers might not yet be operating because they're also in a closed down or lockdown. Uh, the current customers are demanding price discounts or change delivery and payment terms. Uh, our products might be unable to, unable to reach customers, particularly international and interstate. And customers might also be unable to pay on time. So. Uh, also here, uh, the, the start with uh, reaching out to see where your customers are and how you can help them to get back into business. Also look for new customers and markets with for your current or maybe slightly modified products. Explore whether you can aggregate your deliveries with those of other companies in your area so that you can overcome some of the logistic challenges 
and initiate also discussions on prices and delivery and payment conditions. Here, you can also strategize your sales effort and look at your product offer and can you move your product offer up the end of the ladder from the customer's perspective. If you're in a needed category, can you get to an essential category for your uh, customers? Overall, the, uh, as I stated at, this, at the, the outset, it is a matter of problem solving and problem solving is basically team effort. So we have to understand the impact and analyze the root causes and generate and judge alternatives, select and execute most appropriate solution and then review impact of the solution and need for further action. This all has to be done now in fast track mode. So not uh, a problem solving cycle of weeks or months, but of hours perhaps. Uh, and that will mean that you accept that you might not get it completely right in the first instance. And that's fine. You can also learn from that. So as a, as, a, uh, as a wrap up, I would say that restart is basically about problem solving in mission mode to address the issues in the workforce, in production, in sales and supply. Um, we uh, encourage you to uh, look at the resource materials for further tips and hints. And of course, also your comments and suggestions are most welcome. Success in getting your production restarted.